Alright guys, what is up? Your boy R. Dykes here, coming at you with your exclusive tip uh, from the Seattle playbook using the twin tight end. Uh, going to be going over a play. I actually uploaded this video last night, but uh, this has happened a couple times, guys. So far, just with not having the capture card, when you use the PS4 video or the broadcast, uh, you'll see the broadcast actually cuts off here and there. And uh, it still records, but uh, the video gets messed up, so I'm trying to figure out why it does that. Um, so it's it's a little bit uh, harder and more frustrating to put out videos right now just because the fact that uh, really everything's getting messed up when you're videotaping. So I'll videotape a video for about 5 to 10 minutes, upload it for about 20 to 30, and then all of a sudden it's messed up. So I apologize for that, guys. I'm trying to do the best I can uh, waiting on something in the mail to help out. So like I said, the play we're going to be going over is the wide receiver screen, which is going to basically become an FL screen. Uh, let's just put the defense in like a two man under a uh, man coverage right here so this is what you're gonna see guys so you see a wide receiver screen and the one thing that's really unique about this just generally um, is this tight end wheel also the fact that you've got three uh, set to the right but uh, two tight ends are on the right so you don't see that too much but what I like to do guys you like to wheel the running back you drag the wide receiver and you're gonna actually motion this guy here whoops did not mean to do that I apologize uh, you're actually gonna motion the halfback right so now what it gives you it almost gives you like a twin tight end offset if you look at that uh, almost like the thing in New England except the Baldwin is motioned over to the left but what this is going to do guys is going to cause an overload you're going to call hike and you're going to snap throw it out there um, you're going to follow your blockers I should have probably uh, followed it a little bit better and like I said guys uh, with the defensive linemen in the next gen consoles they will get in after you on the screen so make sure to back up a little bit give yourself some blocking room but you guys can see that there uh, really just pick up your yards and try to score that touchdown. But um, with this overall, with this screen, what it's going to do, guys, is, I mean, even if they know it's coming, guys, it's really hard to stop. I've been using it. I've had buddies that played with it, and they were just like, man, that's that's really hard to stop, and I know it's coming. And I'm like, yeah, I, I mean, it's nice. So I figured I'd put it out there to the public, to you guys, uh, to kind of show you um, how I'm doing it. So here it is again. If you want to take a step back with your quarterback, you're more than welcome. Uh, as well as guys you don't always have to wheel you can flat him what I've noticed with certain backs with the flat uh, the slower backs you actually let your blocks develop a little bit and like I said work on that pass that I actually pass led that down there and my blockers actually got out in front of me a little bit better so I mean definitely hit the practice mode just, just come out and throw the ball uh, and do that again like we said here it is and I mean you got the guys out there and now he comes to the backside so that pretty much covers what we want to talk about that there's one thing else I wanted to talk about so what a lot of people are going to do guys they're going to try to fly down and shoot this so one thing that I really like about it is the R1 route so you can call hike and basically throw it now that tight end got in the way but if that tight end doesn't do that you can actually get a pretty good decent uh, gain against uh, man coverage because a lot of times you're going to see man versus it so here it is again now that tight end again almost gets in the way but uh, a lot of times, you guys, if you guys can hit that pretty quickly, you'll actually see that Miller will fly out there, whoever your second tight end is, and uh, actually help you block. So there it is. So he doesn't block him on that particular play, but you're still getting a couple yards here and there if you are seeing people shoot the gaps. Uh, so it's just something like that. And like I said, guys, don't be afraid to do something like this as well. Uh, just generally, if you're going to throw the ball, I would just really say to motion that guy regardless of what you're doing because really then you're going to have uh, – problems if every time you do that motion they're going to be like okay well they're they're going to do that screen so make sure you mix this stuff in like we talked about uh here it is again just something like anything really just do any route combo and then, like i said if you have a play really just dump it off and make something happen um a lot of times as well guys if you let's just say you do something like this where all the routes are out to the right and let's say you've got a wheel here now what's going to happen is you should have your wheel pretty much open because you've got a guy that's got to chase you across the field uh, and I'll show you an instant replay what I'm talking about um, and what I'm seeing is an offense. So if I see man coverage, this is my idea. So this guy should be manned up with this tight end here. Uh, the guy up over top should be here. So in theory, this corner all the way over here is going to be manned up with Lynch unless I send a route across the field to this side. So if I understand that and say, hey, look, I'm not sending him or him on a slant or drag, more than likely you're going to get chased from behind, which happens here, so you'll see it. So now you see that he's got man coverage. Now they actually do a switch here because he is on a streak because he's closer, which is which is something that happens in real life. But if I, let's just say I was to flat him and out route 82, what's going to happen is this guy is going to chase Lynch now 
all the way over here, and you're going to have some room to run, uh, just uh, especially for quick gains if you need like a third and one, second and one, stuff like that. So that's something to keep in mind and uh, really just put in your bread basket, just uh, another thing to really have uh, in the back of your head. So again, like I said, we'll throw the screen one more time, see if we can actually score on it, show you guys actually something new with the system. We can't score there. I was going to show you guys, there's actually, uh, you can actually celebrate now. Uh, for those of you who don't know, if you're uh, pretty close to the goal, let's see if we can get one off. Uh, it's going to be close here. And we can't. So you see I can celebrate if you hold X. So you see Lynch is actually showboating from like the 10-yard line. Uh, just something a little cool. We'll show you an instant replay from his point of view, uh, like we said. But just something a little cool that they added into the game if you want to mess with your friends. But you see me. I basically have open room, and you see him basically jog, and he gets tackled, but he does get the showboat. So, I mean, that's basically going to do it, guys. Uh over here, like I said, if you guys got any more questions or you need any more help on what to do out of this, uh, I will be happy to help. Uh, like I said, as always, your boy Ardykes, signing out.